from the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Lacey Swope. Well, we did have a gorgeous day yesterday, 60s and 70s today. 60s make a return. We've got sunshine right now. Winds are fairly light. It's a beautiful day, but we're tracking two storms back to the west. They are lurking. One of them approaching pretty quickly coming down I-40. It's the storm that you see coming out of Arizona. Look at the spin with that thing. As it comes down I-40, our winds are going to ramp up heading into tonight and especially tomorrow and rain chances 100% with that storm. Next one right on its heels coming out of Canada. That's going to dip down to the south. It moves in, turns us a lot colder Wednesday into Thursday. May bring some severe weather and even some snow to parts of Oklahoma. First storm, though, you can see the precip with it kind of lifting up into Colorado, into New Mexico. It's going to dump a lot of snow in the Rocky Mountains, the southern Rockies, that is, and already sparking showers down in Texas that will ride up towards Oklahoma, not arriving until late this evening and tonight. So a lot of sunshine for the next several hours before the clouds get here. 41 degrees currently. North winds are fairly light. We were in the low 20s to the north. Now we're in the mid 30s, 40s across the metro, mid upper 40s to the south. So hold on to 40 degrees in Clinton, 40 in Hobart and your hour by hour forecast. We'll see 50s by noon, 60s for afternoon high. So high thin cloud cover for a while. 62 in Clinton, 61 in Lawton. That's still 10 degrees above our average. And here comes the wind. I'm taking you through this evening and tonight. Here's about 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Dry line starts to punch in from the west. We'll have rounds of thunderstorms developing with winds gusting 20, 25, 35 miles per hour. The rain and storms make their way on by, and after that, the sun comes out, and with the sunshine beating down, it'll mix down some winds over our heads, and that means our winds at the surface ramp up 35, 45 miles per hour. Could have gusts to 50. That actually will ramp up the fire threat. May cause blowing dust. We have some gusts to 60 miles per hour out in the panhandles, so we're watching for that. Winds do back off as that storm exits tomorrow night. What about rain? Well, here's future next gen does have a little light rain coming in with the cloud deck late this evening, but I'm not anticipating that to really reach the surface until we get into the overnight hour. So may get a few sprinkles light rain out of that better rain chance will be midnight and then after midnight as waves of rain move up at times a few thunderstorms and right along the dry line. We may have a line of storms that develops and makes its way up into the metro right now looks to be below the severe limits, but could produce some pretty high rainfall rates closer to rush hour along with lightning thunder small hail, gusty winds, then as skies quickly clear out. Man, your Tuesday midday, early afternoon, very windy. By the evening, winds are relaxing and just in time for Valentine's Day, we're dry and we are quiet for any dates tomorrow night. Now heading into your Wednesday morning, look at the snow flying out the panhandle. We will have a chance for thunderstorms to take off in eastern Oklahoma with snow continuing in the northwest, kind of mixing out, swinging out in northern portions of the state. May have a wintry mix here in the metro. Wednesday night, turning a whole lot colder with storm number two. So we kind of break down the statewide chances. Very slight chance of rain this evening. Better chance in the far southwest and then overnight. Look at your lows. You're in the 40s. So we're not talking winter weather tomorrow morning. No icing expected on the roadways, but rain, which you might want to allow extra time for your morning commute. When we have rain around and wet roadways, we usually do see some issues some problem spots. So thunderstorm chances going up tomorrow morning. The back edge coming across I-35 pressing into eastern Oklahoma and some areas a trace a tenth to maybe a quarter of an inch of rain and this time northwestern Oklahoma. I do think you get rain out of this storm system. I know you need a lot more up to a half of an inch in the metro with a couple bullseyes and maybe an inch of rain in eastern Oklahoma. And then here's your Tuesday Valentine's Day mid 60s upper 60s to the south. Look at the wind 30 45 miles per hour. Extremely windy with this storm jumping ahead to Wednesday. Here's in the morning through midday. It's snowing in the pan handle accumulating blowing snow wintry mix for a while in Woodward with the chance for a few isolated storms down to the south and southeast. Now here are the temps a snapshot at about three o'clock in the afternoon Wednesday. It's at freezing in Guymon 67 Oklahoma City 70s to the southeast with the dry line shooting in and a cold front crashing in temperatures will be dropping and where those two air masses collide thunderstorms with the potential for severe weather possible not locked in. We're going to watch for folks to the southeast. Meanwhile, transitioning over to a wintry mix and snow to the north, which could lead to an inch to maybe two inches from Alva to Fort Supply to Buffalo, may see three to four to five to six inches in the far western panhandle. Then we're dry, we're cold on Thursday, nice into your weekend and more soaking rain middle of next week. That's your nine day. We're back with what caught my eye right after this.